Hello Internet, it's Mike for Canny Show. Um, I'm currently at Haggerty's Festival of the Unexceptional. Now if I turn around... Yeah, all sorts of stuff here. Let's go have a look. So we've been told that the judges are currently in this neck of the woods judging this, these machines to see who's gonna who's gonna win all the prizes. <laughs> Hanging out with the judges. Alex is off chance. More people. Let's see what we we're dealing with here. The uh, the tempera. So you got the digital dashboard. So all of it runs in bars. The bars go up as you increase the revs, and the, and the speed is digital as well. You can see the zero there. Fantastic, mate. I'm guessing this is your car, yeah? That's a lovely machine. I love the uh, the armrests. It's so like slim, sporty armrests. Anyway, we're going to leave the judges alone to do their job. Let's see what else is here. Rover. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. Colin McRae rally was incredible. Driver. Driver. Very good game. And Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo, Gran Turismo yeah. I remember when I first moved to the UK, I think the PlayStation 3 was just about to come out and my parents had no cash. So for my end of year free school report, which is my first one ever, they got me a, place, a second hand PlayStation 1 as a gift. Probably for like 30 quid and a copy of Gran Turismo. And that was my life sorted. Grand Theft Auto London as well. Grand Theft Auto London. Look at that. Is that Peugeot? Is it 104? That is. A 105? Let's get closer. So all of you people that had a 107 as your first car, or a 106 or whatever, this is what you got to thank for it. Anyway, so yeah, this is, again, a better view of the whole concourse area. Um, and then on the other side of the fence, you have a whole field of motors. I always wanted to rent one of these on holiday. It's uh, basically a chimney, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a chimney. Um, key theme here, as you can probably imagine, all these cars are fucking immaculate, all brand new. Uh, it's quite nice to see people look after everyday motors. This lovely man was just telling me that um, the deal with the black plates. So in Poland, in 1999, um, black plates were replaced with white ones, um, like more like European legal ones. And if you actually don't change the uh, uh, the name on the V5 in Poland, it's not a V5, but you know, something like that. If you don't change the paperwork properly um, and you keep it registered in the original owner, you get to keep the black plates. So if you see a Polish motor with old black plates, uh, there's a little glitch there. But it looked cool. And there's like a whole community of people on the internet that um, are kind of a fond of these black plates and do their best to keep them. Yeah, they live. They <laughs> that's uh, that's uh, something up for the World Cup. They would only be willing to. They had this kind of misguided idea that by buying an Italian car, they would because it, it stood for a lot of years in, in our garage for a long time. And then we brought it out. So it's only done it to so. How long have you had it? Since new. Oh, since new, you bought it brand new. Oh, nice. Nice new. Yeah. So, how come you went for something like this instead of uh, a slightly more boring, let's say, alternative? Well, got those as well. Oh, you got them as well? Oh, okay, naturally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. It's amazing that the number of people yeah, who have come more, round and said, Oh, one chap said, My, my uh, technology teacher had one of these, it's brought back all these memories yeah. umpteen yeah. years ago. I've, yeah, I've been having many of the same. Uh, I'm and saying to. I'll tell you what, they're driving well. here today. Oh, I'll see what's going on over here. Uh, but there you go, that's why I recommend you were buying a Panda. That's a good Ooh. That's a good tip. Man of the telly. Hey. Good. Is that Simon's car? Between it. Simon had the 500. <laughs> well, Simon had the Chico Chento, that's the that's Seichento. That's the Seichento, yeah, exactly. So, the one that succeeded it. I was young. I think you get the gist of this point of what was uh, the show. So let's see if we can find anything a bit fruity. I, I don't think it's got 60. Uh, it's got to be like no, 50 No, 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 it's still sporting. 1.1, ah. not the 0.9. 
the 0.9 had like 50, 55, whereas these had like 65, 70. Thing is though, they just weren't as sexy as the original 500s, didn't they? Because the idea was for these to replace them. Yeah. And it just, it just didn't. It Maybe superseded the Panda, but they carried on making the Panda for years. This is, it's just proof that straight lines are not as sexy as curvy ones. Because if it was as attractive as the original 500, these would be everywhere, but they're not. Ah! It's a bit too posh. Check this out. Austin Montego. Look at the hubcaps on there. What's and the purpose of that? It's been overtaken. You know what? I have absolutely no idea. Maybe some aerodynamic bollocks? Because it looks quite futuristic. I don't think it was supposed to look... Well, no, it probably was supposed to look ahead of its time, but it's aged like it has. But yeah, the wheels are a bit fruity. That's the one. <laughs> this is tremendous. This is another Montego estate. These, this is... If I'm not mistaken, this was like British Leyland's last hurrah, isn't it? One of these? Yeah, pretty much. They carried on making it in... Um, China. Yeah, there you go. But what they did was they took the front end of something. What was the one below this one? The smaller car. Allegro? No. Ah, oh, no, fuck. The Maestro, there you go. I know. Montego front end stuck in the Maestro body. Honestly, I know. I know, sweet fuck all about British cars because most British cars look like that one there. There we go. That's what most of them look like. Right, come on, Matt. Let's let's talk about your favourite guy, the Vitesse. Um, I don't know anything about it. There's a sheet there that tells you the price of it when you. Long story short, these were priced above like a E36 3 Series. So, you know, people were thinking, I'm going to buy a new car. Should I buy one of these or a BM? And BMs are quite desirable, aren't they? Apparently this was owned by an old football player um, and then the guy that bought it after them has owned it since. <laughs> pretty much the only interesting fact on the... It's very pretty though. It is, it's gorgeous. Think, it's, uh, super it's a bit um, clustered. Like, look how many... There's like a rub strip on a rub strip here. Weirdly. So, was this the equivalent of that, three, that 518 over there? Well, I don't know, because it's a two-door. This is... I don't know where to put this. It was, it was much tougher than I thought it was. I gave up again. I think that's probably about it. I check about British cars just being junk in it, but uh, these are super charmful. I really like the old Metros. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're really pretty as well. And they came in these funky 70s colours, which have aged really well, actually, I reckon. Yeah, they actually Lovely machine. More lovely machines. This thing is great. Look, it looks like it's spent half its life in Chernobyl. Bloody hell. Blinds in the rear. No paint on the roof. Perfect. <laughs> Don't know if you can see the seats. Yeah, you can. Look at that. Comfort. All right there. Uh, Twingo. No idea. I imagine this is. Maybe that's last year's. Who knows? I think uh, this is a 99 Mazda. It's got 30 odd thousand miles on the clock and it's brand new. Everything on this thing is brand new. Look at this down here. Didn't even know the numbers went this high. Neither did I. It has plastic on the door cards. Look at that. All over here as well. Can you see that? Hopefully you can. Ooh, my camera's falling off my shoulder. There we go. This one I think is at its radio stolen. Is that? I mean, that means it's older. Okay. And the front headlights as well, right? Sorry. And the front headlights yes. as well. Yeah. There you go. Did you know about that? What? If it's got a little quarter window here, yeah, uh, it's from the other one. Yeah, because then they move the yeah. they move the, the mirror goes there. there, and then the windows all in one. Well, the grill as well, because then they went to that three or three section. Awesome. These came out on a C plate originally. Oh, so that's a D ridge. So a year or two after. Yeah, very nice. All right, check this out. Probably one of the best cars here. Um, 
Set Marbella, Splash. Again, it's like, mate, every car here that you see that's a Minter, yeah, is on about 30,000 miles. That Mazda is, this thing is on about, I think it's like 32. Had a look earlier. Look at this. Absolutely immaculate. It's got like some rainbow seats. Splash stickers all over the place. It's basically. You can take the suits out and use them. Oh, I can't remember, but it's basically, this is basically a Fiat Panda. <laughs> Just made by Sayat. Look at that. No, Special sticker there. Well, I'll tell you what, it does give you like holiday charm vibes. Oh, absolutely, yeah, I know. If I went on holiday and I could rent one of these, this would be great fun. That'd be so much fun. It'd be so much fun. Yeah. Some Yeah, it is on the piss, yeah. There you go. Check this out. A Samba. Convertible. This thing's immaculate inside. You get an idea of the uh, organisation kit. Interestingly, everyone who comes into the venue drives through the middle of the show, regardless of what car they're in. And then there's a car park. There you go. There's a car park all the way at the end for like the everyday cars. Interestingly, I bought a ticket to park here and they put me in the average car park as well because my car's too nice, weirdly. This is nice. This is just the best car ever, look, 140 TDI as well. I overheard the guy said he gets 70 mpg. Yeah, he would. Basically, if you don't know what this is, Audi A2. Um, it was made in the early 2000s by Audi. Extremely over-engineered. You can't open the bonnet if you want to fill shit up. There you go. That's what it looks like. Um, and these things were incredibly lightweight. Uh, designed to have enormous uh, cargo, luggage, people space on the inside. Designed to get incredibly good mpg. I don't know if I've said that already. Um, and yeah, they look a bit fruity and people thought they were very ugly, but the car was so ahead of its time. And nowadays, all the boring people, all the NPCs that we see driving around town, they drive tall hatchbacks, don't they? Well, there you go, this is a tall hatchback from uh, 20 odd years ago. So, at the start of the day, these two lovely lot parked up next to each other. It's a Mazda based in a Fiesta and a RAV4. And they were getting people to judge which one's the more unexceptional. I have no idea how anyone can vote for a RAV4. These cars are exceptional, they're really good. Also, they were just all owned by like people who lived in Surrey. Really? Hello, I've uh, put the camera down for a little bit to walk around with my camera. As the last video, I'm shooting for speed hunters today, so I need to kind of get that out of the way before I can run around with this thing in my hand. Um, you join me back at the back of the field, as you can see it's empty behind me. However, I've spun around, everything's that way, so we'll go for a gander and see what we can find again. So right at the back of this field is a right hooker Yugo, look at this. No radio. Why did I actually go with this whole thing? There you go, look at this. An S, an S chassis crammed between two. Um, oh, we've got a little glitch of the Matrix here. Look, these two men love their Audis. Let's have a look. Poor man's being attacked by a bee. <laughs> I probably should have filmed that. Oh, this is a sport. The only way you can do it is get a no, no. What do you think? I hear you whispering, what are you thinking? No, no, they're just, uh, just having an Audi on. Definition of 
my Audi's better than, than your Audi. Yeah, pretty much. The, 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 guy, the guy further away definitely thinks yeah. he's better. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a sport, isn't it? Yeah. It's a sport. It's <laughs> being a little smug bastard, yeah. They look good, I like them. Really like these rovers. Matthew likes the rovers. Do you know what model this is, Matt? Uh, 75. Nice. It's based, you know, this is actually based on an E60 BM, so the 5 series of your your, your generation. That's the thing, mate. You just go for the BM. Top spec one is on soon enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. The fat model, that one there. You can't, you can't see anything, you can see a reflection of me. There's a, there's a sheet in the window, I like to have a look. You can take the seats out. For yeah. Okay. I feel like out of all the, uh, out of all the classic cars and all that malarkey, this is probably one, one of those models that's, like, widely covered. Everyone is kind of, everyone knows about this by now. Yeah. These are awesome. Um, something that didn't really sell much because, well, everyone who could have bought one of them bought an S Class instead. Somebody really, really. I just really like them. Mm. <laughs> nice show. Loads of fruity stuff, but you... It's one of them ones where if I see this individually out and about on the street, I get gassed, but I think all of it in one place. Kind of overdosing on it uh, a little bit. But I'll come back next year. Right, internet, that's about it.